The disturbing and bizarre story about a questionable cemetery and allegations of caskets being dug up and reused. Now, last night, Fox 10 News told you a Pritchard church was raided by deputies investigating the allegations. Well, today, two more raids. Our Tori Thornton joining us live at Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Toy, a funeral home was searched today. It was Lenise and Byron, and so was the home of the man who owns it. He's a convicted sex offender with three felony warrants, but that's just a small part of this story. Today, ex search warrants were executed at uh, Broad Street at Heritage Funeral Home and then the uh, home of Cedric McMillan. It's a tangled web with some disturbing claims that investigators are now trying to sort out. Cedric McMillan appears to be right in the middle of it. The investigation is being driven by uh, citizens who, who have alleged that their loved ones aren't where they're supposed to be. Part of the investigation is focusing on this alleged illegal cemetery, which deputies say is run by Heritage Funeral Home, which Cedric McMillan owns. Some of the allegations include caskets being dug up and reused and people not being buried where they're supposed to be. Those claims culminating in three raids, two happening today, one at Cedric McMillan's home in Pritchard and another at Heritage Funeral Home on Broad Street. The third happened Friday at New Ship Ministries, pastored by Joseph Bonner Bay. It his name keeps coming up from some of the complainants and you know the heritage uh, funeral home where the search warrant was executed today. Detectives are looking into the relationship between Bonner and McMillan because Bonner owns the building Heritage Funeral Home is leasing on Broad Street. But Bonner says he and McMillan only have a tenant client relationship. I just want this clear. I can't, I can't get nobody will call me to bury their loved one if you telling them that I go to the graveyard and get caskets out the grave. They need to correct this. This is wrong. As it stands right now, no one is facing charges connected to this investigation, but McMillan is wanted for sex offender violations. It'll take a long time to sort through those things. And it And if you know where McMillan is, call the Sheriff's Office. We're live tonight at the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.